Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a highlight or a circle around your mouse pointer. Uh, maybe you've seen that on tutorial videos. It's really quick. You're going to open up your Microsoft Store and you're going to search for mouse highlight or pointer highlight. It'll be the first one you see here on the top left. My button says open because I already have it. Yours will say download or get. After you download it, it'll open up and you'll see a box that looks like this. I'll shut down my store, bring this over here. All right, so the top part, the mouse highlight, these are your mouse highlight settings. My size right now is set to 45, but you can make that as large or as small as you want by putting a number value in that size field. Uh, also, this second setting is the transparency of the highlight. As you notice, you can see through it to the background, to the files. But if I crank that all the way up, it makes it a solid circle. You can't see through it. So that's what that setting would be for. And then here, obviously, set color. You can select this color to be whatever you want for your highlight. On the bottom half of the window is the click highlight settings. Before getting into that, guys, a quick shout out to my affiliate partner, Humble Bundle. On Humble, guys, you can get tons of the latest new games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together instead of buying them one at a time. You can also sign up for Humble Choice, which gets you multiple free games every month for one low monthly rate. You can cancel any time. You can also feel good about your purchase because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity, and you can even choose which charity your money gets donated to when you purchase it's a great website. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have it below in the description. If you want to enable this feature, you'll click on that box and then notice what happens when I click. Another highlight will appear inside um, just to denote that you are clicking on something. It's helpful sometimes in tutorials where people see you actually clicking on something. Um, and then as you can see, you can set the size. Right now it's roughly half the size of my mouse. So that's why it appears inside my mouse highlight. Also, you notice it, it's kind of lagging a little bit. It's kind of hanging out there after you click. The display time here is set to 800 milliseconds. You can change that as you see fit. And then the other two settings are the same we saw up top, the transparency of that click highlight and the color of that click highlight. One last thing to shout out, if you want to keep using this while you work or while you make your own tutorial, minimize this window, but don't close it. As you see, I still have the use of this highlight, but if I close that window out, then I lose it because the software shuts down. So again, make sure you keep that window open if you want to use it. That was it. Quick video, a lot easier than it used to be when you had to download complicated stuff and get it all set up. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Please remember to like and share if this was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. And as always, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy computer tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Look forward to seeing you on my next video.